Hey Disney Cruisers, it's Brian and Erica. How are you? Hello. Today we're going to talk about one of the saddest parts of a Disney cruise, getting off of it. Mm, that's right, that's right. But there's there's some good tips that you can have uh, in your pocket to make it so it's not such a, a manic rush getting off of uh, off the ship because you're usually leaving pretty early in the morning. I mean, I think the first uh, uh, tags start getting called about 7 or 7.30 in the morning or if you want to be a carry-off uh, person, uh, you can leave, I believe, sometimes as early as 6.30 in the morning whenever you get clearance from the uh, from the port that you've arrived in. So, uh, But if you keep a couple of uh, tips uh, uh, in your pocket, then uh, it makes that morning just go a little bit easier for you. So what we're going to talk about is the first thing is the breakfast. Right. So the last day that you wake up, you wake up and you are going to breakfast. You're going to breakfast where you ate dinner the night before. And there's a menu. It's a seated breakfast. And so if you ate at Alame Animator's Palette that, that on that last night of the cruise, that morning you go to Animator's Palette with all of your bags and get ready to go. And the breakfast is good. So sit down, enjoy it, reminisce the trip with your friends, the new table mates mm -hmm. that you made, talk about some of your favorite experiences with your family. Yeah, it might be. It's a little more limited than maybe some of the other morning breakfasts you would have had in the, in the restaurant. But there's usually, you know, eggs. Eggs, uh, usually scrambled eggs, uh, usually not eggs to order because it's basically stuff that they want to be able to put together on a plate real quick and, and bring it out to you. But uh, uh, the other the other uh, key tip that I've had that we just realized on this last cruise Door is, uh, uh, well, Cove Cafe is open that last morning of, of the cruise. Um, they won't have the pastries uh, up there that morning. However, if the day before you go up uh, and grab a couple of pastries to go, and you, if you uh, might ask to have them maybe wrapped in saran wrap, uh, so like I think the pastries are usually out till three or four o'clock in the afternoon, you pick up a couple of pastries, take them back to your uh, stateroom, then the next morning, bring them with you to Cove Cafe, grab yourself a coffee, have the pastry you saved for the night before, and there's just not nearly as many people up in Cove Cafe as there are down in the dining rooms. And then also if you uh, get done, you can still set out on the uh, on the deck there up on deck 10 or 11 on some ships and uh, wait, you know, for your number to be called for you to disembark. But it's just a, it's a different place for you to kind of go grab some breakfast, grab your coffee rather than the restaurants where they're kind of, they're kind of bustling. It's not as bustling as a cabana's breakfast, which will not be open on the last day of the cruise. But it is nice that it is, you're going to go in and sit down. You're not going to have to wait for your table because it's already been saved for right. you. Um, and you'll bring out your luggage that you've chosen to carry off. So those are our tips for the breakfast. And we hope to hear more about what your tips are. Because leaving it, partying is such sweet sorrow. And so you might as well go off with a good send off. We'll see you soon. Bye.